Hello, today I want to show you the changes we're making to our hydroponic system at VLX Agro Farm Research Center. As you can see, um, as I speak now, the water is going through the pipes and the, the water is irrigating our plants. Uh, what we did is to change these uh, grow holes to better grow holes we had uh, uh, this type of grow holes which seem not to have performed well as our expectations and uh, we decided to change to this uh, type of grow holes as you can see it is uh, uh, it is, uh, it is uh, the system is uh, getting irrigated you can see the flow of water is very very good and you can see the type of net cap, net, net cap we've done uh, these are these are plastic uh, cups you can buy from any supermarket and uh, once i put it in of course they take a bit of time to get it done fabricated but all good things take time that's what we need to know so you can see when i put it in uh, the irrigation is uh, very good things are working out very well and this is the the farm we are trying to revamp change so we are going to change all these pipes and according to the research the better grow holes uh, or net cap holes are these ones here of course this is not a painted pipe but uh, we it works the way it is uh, painting just adds a bit of also neatness and beauty uh, but it, it works so my engineer is going to work on all these uh, on all these pipes to make them uh, look better uh, such that we have the system that is running like this one here so this one is already running the uh, the pump is uh, embedded within the pipe and the system works very well it looks neat it uh, it will serve for probably another eight to ten years this is not going anywhere this is a uh, uh, plastic it's very strong and it is a food safe food safe plastic uh, is good for hydroponics so when you are buying these pipes you buy what we call grade one pipes don't buy any type of pipe uh, grade one pipes PVC uh, grade one pipes so this is where we are we want to see how this mechanism uh, works how it is uh, gonna work for us of course the challenge I have here is uh, the sun is not coming through that's why the growth is uh, not that very good this is because of the light and that's why we even have leggy what we call leggy uh, leggy stems when the stem is too tall you know when you don't expose plants to uh, to uh, to sun they somehow struggle to find the sun and they, they end up with the leggy 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 stems so this is where we are there's also a simple mechanism here you can devise which works very well and uh, we we set up this a few days back this is a very simple system you can see it has a bit of a cross basically the purpose of the cloth is to kind of uh, pull water and push it to the cup uh, and, and put it on the sponge so this here you just keep checking on the water levels so that the water doesn't go far below if it goes far below uh, the plants will die off so all these are some of the hydroponic uh, setups you can also adopt to plant uh, leafy vegetables and that side we also have some setup here we have a 
system on the sale which you can put on your balcony in your backyard and uh, this side we have this very very robust system you can see the growth very good growth based on very simple mechanism uh, pipes only as i said uh, you buy pvc grade one pipes so this is very good growth you can see here our basil is starting to bear flowers and here you can grow basil and lettuce in the same pipes and here we also have vertical some vertical towers uh, yeah, which we worked on um, the, if you need one we can make it for you of course these ones we are just uh, the ones we started with when we are testing our systems in the they, they, they we shall use this one they will be used the, in our farm but we shall make for you a neat a neat system again there is here another system uh, which we are going to use to plant and uh, it's also going to be uh, based on saturating uh, um, uh, we shall put a little pump uh, that uh, little pump that will move water into these pipes we tried the uh, Crack a own and saturating system that didn't work well. Uh, however, where the crack method has worked very well is on this wall. You can see how the crack method is performing on this wall. If I can take you closer to the first lettuce we planted, it is blossoming. This is the first set of lettuce we planted. It is blossoming every every day I harvest leaves so it is better to harvest leaves what I mean you harvest the leaves and you leave the stems you can see for example here I've harvested the leaves but I leave I leave the stem the uh, continue going up you can as well harvest leaves for sale but in most cases in the big farms they harvest the entire plant and they put it in a, in a, in a, in a they package it very well. So this is what I had to share uh, with you. For some of you who are new to hydroponics, hydroponics is the growth of uh, plants, especially leafy vegetables, without using uh, soil. So it is based on only... Uh, Ionic nutrients, and in most cases, this is NPK, calcium nitrate, EPS, and Epsom salt. But you need to know how to mix these. There are so many videos on the internet which talk about how to mix your own nutrients. So, this is where we are, and uh, we look forward to sharing more videos. Please embrace the this is the future of farming. Remember, the population is growing, but the land we have on this planet Earth is fixed, and uh, this will solve the problems of uh, hunger, as people will be able to feed uh, the families, the population, using this modern uh, farming technique, which does not require soil which takes less water this farming it also boosts your health because it doesn't require pesticides it doesn't require herbicides it doesn't require any kind of spraying uh, so the, uh, the 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 leaves uh or whatever you take from like these lettuce farm the leaves you you uh, eat will be free from pesticides in the um, the other benefit of hydroponics is that it, it 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 doesn't require a lot of energy to what about weeding well the little energy you need to apply here is checking water for example here there is water if it doesn't have water you just fill top up with uh, water 
uh, which uh, contains the ionic nutrients and these nutrients uh, as i said they are npk which um, are the same nutrients that the plants derive from soil when we plant in soil so the nutrients have no problems and of course for some people they do what we call organic nutrients but it's the same thing uh, so the uh, npk is not a uh, can't say that it is a uh, bad dangerous uh it's okay uh, i'm not saying that uh, you consume it directly but it's good for the plants because the same uh content nitrogen uh, phosphorus that plants look out for in the soil uh, so this is the status of our farm this is the future of farming and i wish you a great uh saturday for those who are uh, uh, in other countries a very uh good evening a good night and uh, here in kampara it is uh, the night and uh, all the best in your journey uh for hydroponics and uh, this embrace uh modern uh environmental friendly hydroponic farming um, this farming is more suitable for uh, urban areas so uh, why not put your little farm like this one it will cost you less than like, 40 dollars these are water gutters uh, water gutters are used for construction uh, but uh, you can see water gutters are used on managing water in the building but for us, we use them for planting. And again, you make sure you, you, you take grade one material of PVC water gutters uh, such that uh, you have food safe. But by the fact that the water we even drink goes through pipes, uh, I don't think it is a PVC pipes uh, um, uh, um, have a problem uh, with uh, in terms of being safe because the water we drink we use we go through so many uh, pipes hundred hundreds and thousands of uh, meters of pipes so uh, you know companies that make uh, their own systems they always tell you uh, some materials are not safe such that they can make uh, money uh, so you also need to make a, a, a judgment, use your judgment and say maybe they're just selling their stuff. So this is where we are and uh, I look forward to sharing more videos. Please subscribe to my channel, like my videos and uh, make comments. Uh, hit the notification button in the case you're interested in getting more updates in hydroponics. And we look forward to sharing more content. Uh, in areas of hydroponics and uh, all the best bye for now